Okay, here we are, going on to the next match. Okay, well, it's a very similar starting hand. Um, I don't really like this card at all right now. I think we don't need two of these, so throw back our two worst cards and just hope for something better. That's not bad, especially if we can get um, this downturn too. That would be a very, very good play. What's he got? Nothing? Perfect. So, I'm going to throw away this. Just try to really rock it up the curve if we can. I am going to put this here in the hopes that he can't kill it with his general. So if he has like a blood tier alchemist, that would be annoying, but I really want to get Dancing Blades down. Really want to get it down. Excellent. Run away. Coward. Hmm. Ghost Links. All right, Ghost Links it is. That could have ended up really, really bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> like what happens if he ends up right here? I just get to kill everyone. One of these has got to be not worth it. All right. So I think I want to get both of these if I can. I think what that entails is playing this guy up here. And then just killing this thing. All right. I think we're doing pretty good right now. Obviously, you draw a chromatic cold yet again. Because um, our, our turns are going to go Dancing Blade, Death Blighter, which is just a really powerful series of minions to drop. And we're going to get to pump them all up. It seems great. White Widow, A. Eh? That's sort of annoying. Wow, why would he do that? Why would he do that? Because now I can hit both of these. I don't even need to use my Dancing Blades on this thing. I'm going to throw away one of these Chromatic Golds. Don't even need to use Dancing Blades to hit it, because this is going to be a 4-4. Four, four. So what I think I'm going to do is just move right here. Oh, I will attack. And then just put Dancing Blades here so it gets pumped by the Windrunner. So I hope that makes sense. Can't put it, don't want it to hit me, right? So you come here, pump my guys, and then kill this thing. Alright. If I had to guess he comes over here, hits this. He's got to kill this thing. Otherwise, it's just going to rampage on his board. Ephemeral Shroud. Okay. Okay, what do we want here? I mean, how close is he to dying? I cannot kill him yet. That's not quite true. Uh, I'm actually going to throw this away to try to find something that can maybe kill him this turn. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm three points shy of killing him. So let's just do this. Alright, 
Unless something goes horribly wrong, I have to imagine he's dead. You can't even, like, silhouette trace her away, because where is he going to go, right? You can't do that. My creature has to provoke. I have the sneaking, sneaking suspicion that he is not quite sure what's going on. I could be wrong, but let's see. Yeah, he keeps trying to move. You can't do that. Okay. All right. This is going to be quite valuable. Wraithling Swarm. That's sort of annoying. I think he's dead. Um, switch with this guy. Alright, you died. Kerpow. <laughs> that was round two. See you again in round three.